Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman and I love cars. If you are not already, please like and subscribe. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Audi B5 S4. While I was manager at the speed shop, they shockingly let me hire staff. One of my hires, Mike, had the same disease we have, extreme auto enthusiasm disorder. He had a different strain than I had though. Mike loved those funny little German cars. He had a whole posse of friends that loved them too. The German car thing was kind of a mystery to me. As a knuckle-dragging carbureted V8 guy that had an epiphany after watching the movie and converted my religion to 90s Japanese tuner cars. Turns out if you perform a turbo or turbos upgrade and get a tune or stuff a turbo on a VR6, these funny little German cars haul biscuits. It took a while to learn the language. These German car lover guys talked in chassis codes and turbo part numbers. I remember overhearing their conversations and not understanding a word for 10 minutes at a time. I raced an E46 M3. He had me from the dig. But when the GT 2871R spooled hard in third, all he saw was Mark IV 1.8T GTI taillights. Their unofficial boss of their German car tuner guy posse had a B5S4 with twin GT25s. Mike and I had a friendly rivalry. My V6 Swap 323 unofficially beat Mike's Golf R. I say unofficially, as for some reason German car guys don't believe in our lord savior nitrous oxide. We used to argue back and forth. Oh yeah, race me without your nitrous. No problem, take your turbo off. NA to NA, let's go. Anyway, to make a really long story short, Urian's B5 was proper fast and left a lasting impression. Due to my poor life choices, I didn't have the money for a B5 Audi in the early 2000s. But time and depreciation are funny things. Now even poor people that sell auto parts for a living with upstart YouTube shows can afford an Audi B5 S4. Hey Dad, aren't you a poor person who sells auto parts with an upstart YouTube show? Um, anyway, I think it's high time for a revisit of the Audi B5 S4. Development of the B5 began in 1988. In 1991, exterior styling design was chosen and finalized for production. The production of the All Singing All Dancing Gen 2 Audi S4 Quattro commenced in October 1997. In North America, we are used to getting shafted when it comes to getting cool foreign cars, and the B5 was no exception, as we didn't get them until late 1999. We did get them for an extra year though, so I guess we can't complain too much. Both the B6 and the B5 were sold here in 2000. Ugh. Both the B6 and B5 were sold here in the 2002 model year. The S4 was available in four-door sedan and... The B5s were assembled at the... Plant. Wiki claims 13,547 A4S4s left American showrooms. The S4 commercial I found was a visual representation of what a midlife crisis looks like. One life isn't enough. I need two lives. Maybe three. For all I want to do. from across the street that calls you Josh wants to borrow some more tools. Um, I'm too busy making YouTube videos and remind him to like, subscribe, and comment. Audi B5 specifications. Engine. The B5 S4 featured a 2.7 liter twin turbo bi turbo 90 degree 2.6 liter V6 engine. The engine featured cast iron block with aluminum cylinder head. The heads had five valves per cylinder. The double overhead camshafts were linked together with timing chains that were crankshaft driven with a timing belt. The engine also had variable valve timing for the inlet valves. The V6 had two parallel water-cooled BorgWarner KO3 turbochargers that fed air to side-mounted air-to-air intercoolers. American market cars were majorly detuned to 247 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. Transmissions The S4 was available with two transmissions, a 6-speed C90 manual transmission, and a 5-speed ZF5HP19 Tiptronic automatic transmission. Suspension. The B5 S4s were equipped with four-wheel independent suspension. Up front, the suspension was multi-link design with four individual control arms per wheel. Out back, the suspension had unequal length double wishbones. 
brakes. The B5S4 brake system had vented 12.64 inch diameter front rotors and 10.08 diameter rear rotors. Up front there was two piston Lucas HP2 brake calipers featuring four pads per caliper. Bringing up the rear were Lucas single piston sliding brake calipers. The system was controlled by a Bosch four channel anti-lock braking system. Wheels and tires. The wheels were 17 by 7.5 inch. Six spokes with 225-45 ZR17 tires. Acronyms. The B5 had a full load of acronyms. Here's a breakdown. EBD, Electronic Brake Force Distribution, automatically varies the amount of force applied to each of the vehicle's wheels based on speed, load, and road conditions. EDL, Electronic Differential Lock. This system applies the brakes to the slipping wheel. It senses the slipping via the ABS system, causing the open diff to send power to the other wheel. ESP. Extrasensory perception. Oh wait, that didn't come until the B9S4. ESP, Electronic Stability Program, improves a vehicle's stability by detecting skids and trying to reduce losses of traction. When ESP detects a loss of steering control, it automatically applies the brakes to help steer the vehicle where the driver intends to go. Braking is automatically applied to the wheels individually. For example, the system could add brake force to the outer front wheel to counter oversteer or the inner rear wheel to counter understeer. Stock performance. Car and driver recorded a zero to 60 time of 5.6 seconds and the quarter mile in 14.2 at 98 miles per hour. Production S4s are electronically limited to a top speed of 143 miles per hour, but would reach 157 miles per hour without the speed limiter. Aftermarket performance. There's a huge amount of aftermarket support for the S4. Basic mods yield huge improvements. Computer tuning alone can add 65 horsepower and 87 foot-pounds of torque. The factory diverter valves are prone to failure after a boost increase, so these units are often on the top of the list of things needing to be replaced. Aftermarket downpipes with high-flow cats greatly improve the power output throughout the rev range. Upgrading to RS4 turbos or beyond is commonplace. Suspension modifications. At the limit, the S4 tends to understeer and plow in stock form. So an aftermarket rear sway bar can be transformative in the handling. Coilovers are a common upgrade as well, for both handling and good looks. Racing. The Audi B5 S4 has been used in practically every form of auto racing. S4s are popular cars to drag race. That S4 just took that WRX to Gapplebee's. S4s are great cars for hill climbs. They're also at home at the autocross. Slow down! <laughs> On quite a few drifting as well. The S4 is a popular car for ice racing. The Audi B5 S4 was never designed to be a race car though. They were meant for whisking driver and passengers from one destination to another with utmost luxury, comfort, and speed. Holy crap, another jackalope sighting! Run. Buying an S4. The experts agree there are a few things to watch out for with these cars. Buying a car that has had a timing belt and water pump service would be a bonus as this job does not look fun at all. Cracked exhaust manifolds and blown turbos are also common. If the turbo sounds like this, Run. the B5S 4s are generally not prone to rust, but they are over 20 years old so inspect them closely. The tin worm does enjoy chewing on the bottoms of the doors and the front fenders. 
Haggerty claims the average value of a 2000 Audi S4 to be $13,600. The time to buy is now as these cars are expected to dramatically appreciate in the coming years. Thanks for watching another episode of Jason Bowman Loves Cars. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment.